Hi everyone, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for joining me today. Here's an update with all those earthquakes that have been going on near Ferndale, Petrolia, California, up there by the Mendocino Triple Junction. Welcome everyone and thank you for all the new subscribers. Today is October 1st, 2023. This is that original 4.7 earthquake that occurred on the 30th of this month which was Friday at 8.26 a.m. The earthquakes are moving towards the south. Um, USGS does have eight listed here. Uh, more recently, down by Petrolia, you can see here, that's where the swarms are going on now. Um, a 3.3 and a 4.1. And isn't it odd that that 4.1 was at 8.41 a.m. local time, where this uh, 4.7 that started the swarm was at 8.26 a.m. I thought that was really odd. Um, the 3.3 was at 12.29 p.m. local time. So up here in this location is the earlier earthquakes that occurred and started on Friday. And then that 4.1, that's down here by Petrolia. Um, and I got three monitors that I downloaded data from. Um, this one up here, right there. And this one over here. Um, this, they're all boreholes. Very deep wells under the ground. This one, uh, for some reason it stopped working. I don't know why. So I'm only going to show you this borehole, which is borehole um zero four six and this one here which is zero four seven this monitor on the right that's the closer borehole um to petrolia and then this one here is the farther one let me close this out because let me double check on these ones marked in red if they actually did report them at 19 oh it's not working look at that at 1950 universal time nope the last one they reported is this one at right here 1935 i believe let me double check nope gonna make a liar out of me let's see we got 1944 and 1929 those are the last two that they reported all right i don't even see the other ones on here okay we got 1950 and 1952 i'll make that bigger Okay, and this one here at 1935. Well, it's a weekend. They probably have someone that's very inexperienced working because they are really off on the time. Yeah, 1934 and 50 seconds. Yeah, there's nothing at 1944. We got 1934, and I'll come across to the next one. That's at 1950. Well, they might be off on the magnitude for this one. I assume that's the one they're saying is a 3.3. They did get that right. It is a magnitude 3.3. I get a 3.35. I want to show you the signature. Uh, okay. Because I'm going to have to make this bigger. Because there was several very small quakes. Let me pull it over. Afterwards. Let's see. We got slow moving tremors also. Okay, so we got two right there. One there. Oh, three. One there and one there. Slow moving tremors. Hope it don't go small on me again. Um, another one right there. Um, 1940. Let me double check this. They're saying, uh, 44 was a 1.4 okay let me bring it over they're counting that one okay bring it over okay right there that's the one they're counting as a um uh, what i say 
a 1.4. You can see how it's a slow moving tremor. Yeah. See, it's actually throughout this whole time period. Um, let me see if I can try and pull. There's actually two of them there. No, that one's right. That's a 1.43. So why didn't they report this one? That one is not being reported. That 1.4 is the last one that they are reporting. Okay, it's at least a magnitude 2.22. At least. It could be bigger. Let's go to this next one. Okay, let me make that bigger. There's actually... Okay, if I cut it off before that second really tiny microquake, it comes in as a 1.82, but I probably should put it right there. And then in that case, it would be another uh, 2.27, which is not being reported. There's all kinds of little ones in here. See this? I mean, they reported that 1.44, but not these other ones. Okay. All right, let's do this one. It's a little bit bigger than the other one. See that? Okay. That would be a magnitude 1.12. Um, this other one, that's a little tiny thing. All right. And that would be a magnitude 0 0.90. And then more recently, we got this small one right here. That comes in as a magnitude 1.00. Yeah, all kinds of really small ones. I don't know why this monitor didn't download the data properly. Sometimes that happens. Let me bring this up. Okay. Now, all this started, let me bring this out. All this started with this magnitude 3.4. Let me pull this up. Okay, um, that was the one that I reported back on the 26th at Willow Creek. This area has um, a lot of landslides and things like that. But I believe that was probably the foreshock um, plate movement. And then we had the quakes move down to here. And now we got them down here. And this is an area that, yeah, this whole area is locked. This is the Mendocino Triple Junction. Could we have a larger one? Well, yeah, within, I would say within a month, within 30 days, there very well could be a larger one. Um, you have a 20% chance any of these could be a foreshock for a much larger earthquake. And at first I was saying that they were getting smaller and smaller until that uh, 4.1 occurred. Um, yeah, 4.2. What's 4.2, 4.1? They revised the locations of these. So, we, yeah, I got, and there's that 3.3. 3. Yeah, this 4.2. Point two, yeah, they revised it up, they revised it down, now they changed the location. This is all plate movement, all plate movement. Let me do this other one that's larger. Oops, darn it, sorry about that. Now this one here was off the coast, this was at 4.2, and see how it's rounded tops? Well, this is probably caused by subduction, where you got uh, the plate moving underneath the North American plate, the Gorda plate, moving underneath, and so it's melting the magma, and that's why it looks like the signature of, of uh, volcanic tremors. Let me show you. 18 miles below sea level. That's the location right there. There's Ferndale. Let's see, we got a 2.1, also off the coast, 19 miles below sea level. Um, a 2.0, and this one here was the 
the original 4.7. There's the moment tensor ball. You can see we got spreading. Yeah, so we definitely have tension that has built up. See, and that's magma. That's magma that came up there. Look at that. Yep, pushing on the plates, widening up the fault. There's the location, supposedly, of the 4.7. And, yeah, it must be a river. Yeah, you can see the mountain here. See that? Yeah, this is how we got the mountains building. Oh, that's not a river, that's a road. Okay. Yeah. Let me zoom in a little bit more. So you know that the North American plate, let me bring this out, is moving southwest. And if you look at these earthquakes, yeah, what's southwest? Well, that was this swarm right here. And down here is the recent swarm. Down here, yeah, we got pressure building all along. Let me bring this out because it'll go to the video that I believe I did yesterday about um, the Gorda plate. And this is the Gorda plate right here. The most recent earthquake along the Gorda plate was this magnitude 3.7. That was on the 30th. That was also on Friday. So what's going on? Well, in my opinion, we got pressure that has built. We got the Gorda Plate moving towards the east. We got the North American Plate that, you know, all of a sudden it decided it wanted to uh, move going uh, southwest. And we got pressure that's built up down here. So, yeah, there could be another large one coming. I hope the Gorda Plate along um, the Cascadia subduction zone doesn't rip. They do have a scenario where if it does rip along just this one section of the Cascadia subduction zone, only here in the Gorda Plate, it still would create a tsunami, um, what, 39 feet tall. So we'll just have to keep an eye on it for the next month. Yep, a whole month. Yeah, it gives you time to be prepared. It doesn't mean it's going to happen at the end of 30 days. Could happen tomorrow. Uh, could happen tonight. You just don't know. You just don't know. So there has been a lot of small microquakes that they're not reporting. I just showed you that. Um, have you felt them? Did you have damage from any of these earthquakes? Um, please check your gas and water lines, especially your gas lines. Um, a lot of major earthquakes, um, they get a lot of damage from fires. If you don't have a wrench to um, buy one, well, um, yeah, it's probably too late to go down to the hardware store to get one, but you should have one on hand and know where it's at to turn off your gas. So what are your thoughts? Um, please put your comments down below. Please stay safe. Be prepared. You just don't know. As I've stated in, in the last couple of videos about this location, this area of California has 25% of um, the larger earthquakes. Yeah, you think it was Los Angeles or wherever. Um, but no, this area of the Mendocino Triple Junction has 25% of the larger earthquakes of the earthquakes that California gets. Find that wrench to turn off your gas if you have a leak, only if you have a leak. And you don't test it with a lighter. You get a spray bottle with soap inside. And, of course, if you smell it, something that smells like rotten eggs, then you would know. Then you turn it off. Have an outside phone number, out-of-state phone number that you can send text messages to if the phones go down. Have a, a place that you're going to meet your loved ones. Yeah, tomorrow everyone goes back to work and goes back to school. Let everyone know what the plan is to meet up if there is a large earthquake. And how you're going to meet up. Who's going to pick up the kids from school. How you're going to get there if the bridges are out. Roads are uh, covered with power lines or debris. Do you have um, heavy duty walking shoes? What's in your first aid kit? 
watch out for falling masonry. You know, um, people often get injured or killed from bricks from chimneys or um, things above the bed or by the couch falling on top of their heads. Be prepared. And please share my videos. Thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye. Thank you.